TV. It's got the mailing brackets, but what you'll find out is that the screws are recessed really deep back in there. And so Sony provides you with a adapter, which then fills that gap. And then you screw your mounting screw back into that. But interestingly, uh, this is such a wide, a wide piece. You've got to have a ginormous um, screwdriver, <laughs> regular flathead. <laughs> a regular flathead basically doesn't fit. I'm like, oh my gosh, really? So you need an extra wide flathead screwdriver to tighten these in. I'm going to try to tighten them by hand and see if that does any good. And this is a Sony Bravia 55X80K from Costco. And there's your setup guide that came with it. And these little guys are the mounting screws. Instruction manual about uh, mounting, kind of prepping it for a wall mount. It talks about the uh, pattern, the wall mount pattern, which is standard. And then it talks about removing the, the small screws and then putting in the special. Okay, so here is the adapter for the wall mount. I'm going to attempt to go by hand here. You can see it well. It will go in there by hand pretty good. And it does stick out quite a. You can find something flat and wide enough that'll fit in between these big teeth. And then you can screw it in, tighten it down. Okay, so then the next piece I'm going to put on is these back brackets. Instead of using the screws provided, I'm going to use the screws that were in the TV from Sony. So, just a matter of lining it up with which holes get you in the top and the bottom uh, connector. And then just tighten it on down. Yeah, there it's going. Okay, both brackets are now installed, tightened up using the included screws from, from the TV. Okay, next lesson, I'm moving the brackets down lower so my TV can sit up higher because I'm doing it on a pedestal stand. So you can see where this is mounted pretty high. I'm gonna move this second one down. I'm gonna put it down in the lower position. Another lesson learned, so when you when I was taking them back out to reposition, yeah, the, the mounting hardware also backed itself out. So I thought I had it in tight. It did back out as I was taking this screw back out to reposition my bracket. So, <laughs> okay, remounted down lower. So here's the TV stand. Ah, oh, you can see where I've, where I've got it. Got it down here on the third one down, which gets it up a little bit. Okay, final product. I got the uh, TV stand set up. It swivels. Actually, pretty good. I say it's like 30 degree swivel. And that's, that's a pretty good, pretty good amount of a swivel. You can see it swivels just on the top bracket there. It doesn't swivel by the base. But yeah, not bad. It'll work. It'll work. My idea was I didn't like the, you know, the feet that come with the Sony. You know, these things just don't give you any kind of ease of flexibility in turning your TV. So this makes it a little bit easier to turn it. You can have a better viewing angle from the kitchen or wherever.